Dan and Darren here, Dynamics Fitness, and today we're just going to be showing you how to do a bicep curl on our cable. Alright, so first of all, I'm just going to show you a few adjustments that we can make. Alright, so first of all, we need to adjust this, and we need to bring it all the way down. So on this side here, we have a little pin that we pull out, and we bring it all the way down to the bottom, and we want that nice extension when we're doing our bicep curls down here. Also, we have our weight just here, and like the rest of our pulleys, they are using a pin. So we put that in a, in a weight that we want. So here we're just going to put it on five. And Darren is bringing me the um, easy bar, which we're going to be using today. So we're just going to hook this on using the hook here. And Darren is going to demonstrate a nice bicep curl for us. So as you can see, it's good. what he's going to do, is going to have a nice sturdy base. He's going to put one foot in front of the other. That's giving him a nice sturdy frame. Also, with his arms, if you notice, he's putting them slightly out in front of him. So he's just focusing on that bicep. He's not using any other muscles uh, to help allow him to get that um, weight up. So if you watch, he's going to initiate his bicep and bring that bar up to his chin. So as you can see, he's only using his bicep. He's using nothing else. Them shoulders are relaxed, that chest is relaxed, that back is straight. He's got that nice sturdy base and he's only using those biceps. And when he's finished, um, he's going to be, have a nice extension all the way down and go down. And remember, when we're doing our bicep curl, as you saw with Darren, make sure we're having a nice extension and we, we don't want to be too short because we don't want to have short tendons and we don't want to hyperextend because we don't want to um, put pressure on that skeletal muscle. But yeah guys, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.